So I got the 49cc Hewishang all torn apart, cleaned up, <clears throat> and I'm quite surprised at how it's built. It has a single lobe camshaft, well, cam gear, plastic with a metal lobe. It's got quite the valve duration, too. Two teeny tiny little push rods, and then these ride like that, right there, like that. Kind of like right, maybe right here in this area. And then the push rods would go up, and they would travel through those two holes right there. Go up and push the rockers, which are right here. And they'd push the valves up and down. These are the cutest little valves. Just the darndest little things. This looks like it was set up for a governor. You can see where the weights would go in there. But this is just to splash oil around, I guess. Here's the block. For those of you that gripe at me in my other video that say that this has a removable cylinder head, it does not. No bolts. This is a solid piece. See, there's no seam there. The seam would have had to have been way below the mm -hmm. intake and exhaust. It would have had to have been, like, right here at this fin or at this fin. It is one piece. Porting this was a pain, but I did it. I kind of rounded that corner a little bit because of my intake pipe. I've done better port work, but that's so deep in there, it was really hard to do. It's not like you can get at it from both sides either. With a head that's removable, you can get from the other side. And on a, like this blew my mind. That's a, that's a cast iron bore. I got a magnet right here. It's sticking. That is a cast iron insert. So for people that hate on these little engines, they got nothing to hate about. Because they're precious two strokes. Don't come with a cast iron bore. Unless you do a chainsaw jug or a Minarelli. And the crank has these massive bearings. Like, this is a solid little engine. I'm really surprised. We've probably put over 100 miles on this engine, yes. too, with a friction drive set up. I have not been easy on this thing. You've driven it from Newburgh to Bangor a couple of times. It has a decent oil control ring. Three holes on each side. Three holes there, three holes there, clip on each side of the wrist pin, two compression rings, my only gripe about this engine, no bearing here. But I've never heard of these throwing rods. Which is surprising, they scream. Adorable little flywheel. I would have done a tear down video and a reassembly video, but um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'll admit that because there's no guides on tearing these down, so I'm just kind of winging it.
we're going to see about potentially getting a, a straight shaft instead of the tapered shaft and swapping it out to see if the shafts are swappable. Or cranks, however you want to call them. I've had a couple clutch failures and it chewed the crap out of it. But Overall, this has been a great little engine and I am surprised at its durability. Cast iron bore. Even Predator engines don't have that. <laughs> Other than this, this not having a bearing here, it's just asking for a turbo. Because this has a low compression ratio, it's just begging for boost. I'm going to do it anyways.